Margavarden, Melanine, and well met indeed, and welcome back to the Anduin campaign. It's not really going very well, is it? The changes I've made to these cities have meant that Dwinberg and Ennethaud now don't like me very much. I'm uh, still unfortunately losing money. And the reading in the comments and everything after the last video, I realised that we've given away quite the wealthy region. So we're going to have a period of reclamation on our hands, else we will fall. <clears throat> our objectives are to wipe out the Misty Mountains and Dol Guldur. And that I think we can achieve. But it's going to be a slog. I should mention that the, or to just hone in the point again, that the changes I've made Your to the orders. rivers do not affect that upper Anduin. Yes. So you won't be able to sail through the As upper you Anduin wish. with um, your armies in ships. Also because you can only train mercenary ships up here anyway, so. All right. Yes, my lord. To battle. We return we to take Selaberg. Yes. Which has one unit in it at the moment, so our will probably attack us. You. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, they'll be alright. I need you to join. Yes. Dan and Guild, when you get a chance. Ramsburgers keep going on. My lord. Um, Radagast, head down to. There's a city down here yes. somewhere, isn't there? Stopping here. Right, as you all know, the Gladdenfields we sold to Darwinian along with Ruskabel. However, the Gladdenfields were then captured by the Misty Mountains almost immediately, whereas Ruskabel continues to hold out. Um, a small change of bodding that we've made to Dol Guldur for version 1 as well is that they can now no longer be killed by killing off their faction leaders. Uh, they might be able to about 140 odd turns in, but the script that Geostode wrote whereby a faction heir is created in the first turn and then sent off map. I've edited that a bit yes, because whilst Lord. that was a really clever idea, unfortunately it had an, a, a crash that we could host. not find a way around. So we had to just remove it, but I've built on that idea and, and now Dol Guldur will spawn an heir in turn two who will be sent up to the very right-hand corner of the map, only if they're playing as the AI. And he'll just sit up there. So now if you kill off the Nazgul and the leaders of Dol Guldur, they will always have someone leading them, so they can't be wiped out quickly anymore. Uh, it looks like Thranduil wanted Selleberg. Your orders, my lord. But with him standing next to us, engage. and there being a single unit of Snagger skirmishers, we uh, can safely auto-resolve that. We have triumphed! My lord! Our courage and honour have conquered. All right, we have reclaimed Selleberg. We now can start making money again. It's going to be a long old trip before we get any real amount of money, but we can at least try. Taste of my blade. All right, if we can kill Ugluck, we could probably move on and be a bit cheeky and take Mythelberg too. Um, somebody asked why I bothered giving that to Darwinian, and I'm well aware that Darwinian will not be able to defend it. They won't move to defend it, they won't be able to hold it at all. But it will mean that Dol Guldur will now focus more attention on Darwinian, because with Darwinian holding Groskabel and um, Dorthalu, they're now surrounded by Darwinian, or at least they have them on both sides, so they'll take more of a more note of Darwinian than they previously were. Um, merge them, leave behind you lot, and hit Ugla. To battle. Snagger, 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 skirmishers, mounted orc. Nothing particularly strong. He's got two units of archers, and we've got an almost entire army of archers. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! <clears throat> but unless there's a large army hiding in the gloom somewhere, we should use this momentum we've gathered by taking Selleberg and move on Meithelberg and 
and then see what Goblin Town's like, because Goblin Town's support script has already kicked in. So if we take it again, it won't get any defense. And we wiped out the supporting army that came. Alright, we're on a bit of a hill. I'm going to use that to our advantage. And our army is almost completely hidden, which is always useful. So if we put those two over there, they'll think... You go with them. That is... Apart from the Anduin Longbowman, this is all the enemy could see. Oh, they appear not to have a sprite. Oh no, it's the... Hobbitry in arms, they're very hidden though, aren't they? They're, and um, they sort of disappear when their sprite kicks in. I'll put you three on that side, actually. The longbowmen couldn't get their firing off first. High arc jump into the gloom. <laughs> Of course, we attacked them, so um, we can't actually just sit and do nothing. And when I say, of course, we attacked them, I re I, what I mean to say is I've just remembered that we attacked them. So we will have to actually move out and do something about that. But if we can, we're still going to try and ensnare them. Ah, yes, perfect. They are going to come at us. Why are some of the archers doing the high shot? Oh, uh, probably because of their position. Not quite on a hill, are they? They're just sort of behind it. They're just going to stand there, and then we'll wait until we've used up every single arrow before we charge in. Oh, they're shooting back. Oh, their archers do very little damage, and if we're not engaged in melee, then the morale dampening effect of poison arrows doesn't really have any, doesn't really do anything. Oh, the mountain or hunters have been obliterated. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Move up onto the top of the hill. I can't believe our those men have had such success. It really is an army of nothing, isn't it? Uh, but we've already killed 42%. We've barely even met them in melee. I think they might be fleeing, actually. I think they might be doing an organized route. Yeah, they are. Oh, well. 
Let them run. Well, that was a very simple victory. And off they go. We'll chase them down. Selleberg is secure for the time being, although from the, they could come from Rakiberg and Dines Halls. Dane's Halls. <clears throat> Thank you for your services, archers. Oh, mighty force. Oh, you'll be pleased to hear that Hummingbird has fixed the um, shoulder popping out problem that the um, skin changers had. So they don't look as weird when they fight now. You just keep the camera still or it doesn't go, doesn't keep the time six. Have they not left yet? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Go on, son. Don't forget. <laughs> this is good. This is good. We took down that army with virtually no losses. We can keep this impetus going. Swarm Only across the Anduin the and retake Michaelberg. Ah, they seem to be having some concern about running past that rock. Oh, no, you're not coming all the way back, are you? Oh, very well. Run out and meet them. Apologies, everyone. But we are now to go through a very tedious charge down on this last group Behold of Uruk. Ah, oh, no, they fled. Runs. Thank God for it's that. Time to press we awed by the victory 62. we have won here today. They hardly lost anyone. 189 Woodman trackers thought it would be archers. All right, now we cross the river and we attempt to take back Mithelberg. What do we do with um, Zagduf and Kazrad? I'm gonna stick you. We use the defenders of Gleowine. They can take them. Yes, my lord. Yes. Follow them north. Wipe out all that you can. Uh, do we need to leave anyone behind? Yes, please. You stay behind. We shall engage. Simple victory here. We have a full complement of ranged units again. We attack. It's just a case of swarming them. Start. All right. One nice solid line for now. We'll do nicely. Oh, actually, is they're all hidden, aren't they? Stop our archers up here. Stand ready. And you three, I'll run you through when the enemy gets near. Or, oh, no, 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 no. We'll put you on the sides like we did last time. Use you to flank the enemy and then pepper them with your stones. Make sure the enemy doesn't come at us. Oh, they are going to come at us. They're going to make our job very easy. All right, let's shake it up already. If you can throw, throw. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. This is just a slaughter, really, isn't it? It's fine by me. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press. Get as many as you can. Yes, perfect. And off they go. A solid victory once again. The Hobbits proving their might with taking no losses. Now, of course, you'd like to think that um, the ambushing was obviously a great help, but really it's just that 
three units of archers with that many men all firing at two units, it's, it slows them down, which then makes them more susceptible to the stones of the skirmishers. And thus they fall. And thus spoke Zarathustra. I know that you can press exit and you can you can quit and if you at this point it will still say you've won but I really don't trust Be that. by the victory we have won here I today. prefer making sure they actually get out. Oh the sheriffs had nothing to do with it really. So it was all archers. But means we don't have to worry about that southern side. I think our turning point is coming unless the orcs bring a vast force out of the gloom, the darkness that permeates around the mountains at the time. We have triumphed! Well, go on then. Volgred has just joined our oh, noble house. Lord. We've adopted a hobbit. And he's probably going to marry a normal human woman. And they have shall have half hobbit, half human children. They, uh, unfortunately, that will be a little bit of... Uh, Immersion breaker because any children yes, that they no. have will come of age with skin changes as their bodyguard. So the skin changer half hobbit breed will be an interesting one. Uh, right, there's no other immediate threat. So your orders, my lord. Gazrad as well. As you come on. Oh, he has archers. We'll have to be a bit cleverer. Uh, Muster your courage, men. We march into battle! The astute amongst you might notice that the Anduin video, um, well, from what I've said and just from the save files you can see, it's coming ahead of the Darwinian video. And I feel I should lay the groundwork now. I should mention this now in case the inevitable does happen, but um, my Darwinian campaign may be lost. The some modding changes I've made may have ended that campaign, I'm afraid. I will try and salvage it and see what I can do. See if I can um, get the conditions of the original save back. But I'm uncertain at this time. I'm afraid. So stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on the Darwinian campaign. Part of the reason why I've moved all of my game playing to a different build was because of um, a potential crashing. Now this time we will lose men because they've got archers. Only half the enemy force remains. Why did they run much out? In our favor. Victory will be ours. So we've lost men. Foolish. Behold how our coward. This uh, is a uh, 37, clear that's not bad. We've got a wider spread this time. And again, we have defeated the Misty Mountains from our land. This is our land! An honourable, glorious victory! They were trying to take our yes, apples. My lord. Can't be taking our apples. Alrighty ho, another very successful turn. Your orders, without question. Oh, idiot. Yes, I'm hoping that Tomorrow's they might have broken journey the siege. Planned out. I do head there, because then we'll Stopping send you south. Here. Oh, will we send you back and down through her? Well, no, no, because we don't really care about what's happening down there at this time. This campaign's only 26 turns in. The, no one, nothing particularly major will have happened in the world yet. All right, end the game. End the game, end the turn. Oh, Thrandall's going back to the forest. I hope he takes Rakiburg. In many campaigns I've seen, he often takes Rakuberg. And with his vastly superior forces. Yes, Morgul has now been besieged. Gondor are doing very well. 
Your orders, my lord. Put back in there. <laughs> Where we prepare your retraining. Even though it will be some probably twelve turns before we've got the money to actually do that. Ah, uh, if only we could have built the moot hall. This is why we need Mythelberg back. Yes, my lord. I'm not sure how this battle will work on the Karak on the Karak board, sorry. To give it a whirl. We shall oh, he engage. fled anyway. Glory, honor, victory. As oh, you come up. on. They came at us Attack. in force. They swept Mythelberg. They swept Selberg. They've taken Thorodrine. And then we, using cunning and skill, have beaten their reinforcing armies. We've whittled the more misty mountains down until they are naught but a petty fly in the way of our great campaign. And now we cross the Anduin to retake our second city. Whilst not in force, we have the upper hand. Right, archers are useless in forest, as I say in every single video, so we're going to go around the side. And we'll see what they do. They'll definitely turn to face us, at least, but... I'm expecting, to be honest, that again they'll flee once a certain point is reached. Because they obviously, they try to run to... Oh, they can't, can they? Oh, no, they can flee. They can they can break and flee, but they can't choose to flee. And um, for those of you who are unsure of that mechanic, your units can move a certain amount in a turn, obviously. And if, um, if they've moved their full limit in a turn, and then they're attacked, they'll, they'll be given one chance to retreat, but it won't be very far. And they'll retreat that distance. But then if the enemy army then catches them again for a second time, like we have done here, it then means that you can't uh, you can't choose to retreat. You have to then fight your enemy. And um, your units can break and they'll retreat, but you can't tell them to retreat. Which um, can be annoying, actually, because generals... If a general breaks and flees, you've still got that general alive for your campaign. However, you can't tell the general to flee, as I say. So you're going to battle just praying that your general breaks and, and um, flees the battle because you can't tell him to flee and otherwise he'll die. And that is also what happened to Aragorn in the Northern Dunedain campaign. He had, he'd had he already moved his full distance so the Dunlendings could capture and get him. The archers. We are being attacked. Archers. Men. Archers. Archers. Men. All right, you can shoot one go of fire arrows. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. What earth is going on? Shoot the archers. Behold how our uh. cowardly foe rides. This is no, a clear victory. victory. Sometimes the archer AI really annoys me. Despite telling them not to fire at will, then not fire at anyone, and then clicking on the archers, they still then just shot the nearest target. An honourable, glorious victory! Your orders, my lord. Their army of Snagger is proving their undoing. And each time we sack a camp, we get a bit more money, which is always nice. We still have nothing to concern us within the south. Oh, I've removed... Um, oh, it won't affect this campaign because it was added through a script, wasn't it? Uh, Kamul is no longer locked. Because now there's no threat that Dol Guldur are going to wipe themselves out, we needn't leave Kamul in Dol Guldur. So we've locked him. And... Um, oh, so we've not locked him anymore, is what I mean. The only downside to the script 
that saves Dogul Dur is that for the first 15 turns, the AI will only fight with two of their three starting Nazgul. Because the only way to change who the heir is, as unfortunately, by as far as I can tell, is by killing off the existing heir. But the Nazgul respawn, so he will come back after 12 there turns. Is something you wish to speak 15 of? turns. Yeah, that's some map information and trade rights, what you're saying. I see little I discussions come to a close. Very well. Switch yourselves. We're off to door nor Without hack. questions, I shall continue tomorrow. All right, well, I will besiege Meitelberg, but that fight yes, and the outcome of this we shall will engage. be in the next video. We or shall prevail. There is nothing nor I can do. Yes. I will end this one here. <clears throat> My only real thing I could probably do is send forces from Gleowine north to meet up with Meitelberg, but Gleowine is essentially defending the rest of our towns at the moment, so... Thanagild will have to do victory with what he's got. And I can't foresee that as being a problem because every unit there I'm is snagger. Stick you. So, as I say, that will end this video there. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I will try and recoup the Dorwinian campaign, so stand by. I will let you know um, how it's gone. But for now, and until we speak again, dear friends, Navar Naden Perimad Melunin, and farewell.